When you did that, it was completely insane. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the one. Jeez. <laughs> I'm still working on it, by the way, but I, I, I can't do like you do with m my knee coming out. I feel like when I do inspiring, the guys, they, they see it and they, they, so I have to keep my, my knee tucked in. Yeah, I think you're just thinking that. Maybe okay, it's because it's, the it's years efficiency. of karate, I learned yeah. in a different way. So my, my brain is wired so much in a certain way. Yeah, the, the, the problem with karate is that lower knee. The uh. knee down by the, the other knee versus up by the hip. When you bring it up by the hip, there's, there's much more leverage. There's a tremendous amount of force. And the alignment of your lower leg, the supporting leg, and the kicking leg is better to generate force. Whereas the kicking leg is almost independent of the lower leg if you're going up. Because they're not moving in the same direction. Uh -huh. like one leg is going up, the other leg is going forward. So it's like, Ugh! it's all goofy. Uh, but when the hip is up, the when you turn, the hip is up. This is pushing, and this is going forward. It's just zo boom. I, I, however, That's Joe, where the power comes from. However, you 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 come from taekwondo. Yeah, is all the Olympic athlete like champion? They, they don't, don't do, do it like that. Yeah. No, no, they don't. They, all no, do no, it no. Like exactly. That. They, you yeah. do it in a different ways, yeah. right? Well, but I man, was... they, I never seen anybody hit as hard. Like I don't care if it's a punch. Like, I never see a strike, pro, a strike, a blow from a human being that hard. Man, I remember the the bag when you were working in. It was a freaking hole almost in the bag. It was like a, a, a curves in the bag, like with your your footprint in it. I'm like, it's completely insane, man. It's a lot of power. I was with Andy yeah. Bravo, and, and I remember we were freaking out. Then you were going back and forth, and I like you. Were, oh well, my you God. know, we we worked together because of Donaher. Yeah. Because John came up to me and just asking me because I was a commentator. Yeah. He said, I need someone to help George with the the fundamentals of his spinning back <clears throat> kick. He needs like. Uh, like a technique refresher. Do you know anybody? And I said, this is going to sound crazy. I go, you just got to listen to me. But I have a really good spinning back kick. So that's how that's how you put it out. He's yeah. a smart I guy. I said, he, he, he put it to me just not, asking no, if no, I knew he, a Taekwondo he, he guy. Knew, he knew. He He's, did know. He knew that he told me he's going to ask you, he's going to ask if you could work with me. That's funny because he, he said it to me no, asking no, no, me no, if no. I knew somebody. No, but you want to put it this way. It's John, oh. John is a smart guy. John is a very mm. smart guy at, at, at he, he would have, if we didn't have said, he would have kind of, right? Because he, I remember he said that to me, and I say because he's, he's like my son, so he's my, 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 right. my so I say yeah, 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 right. I'm like, and then I was rolling my eyes, like, what the fuck is Joe Rogan? I didn't know what your background, you know, <laughs> like I knew, I know you did That's some martial arts. That's what I thought he was gonna think. No, but I, he knew that uh. because the word get around, the word gets around that you have a very strong spinning back kick. He, he, he somewhere somehow told him or he's seen it or, or be, because he told me I remember he told me then I was like yeah, yeah I'll do it when I go uh, train with Freddie Roach and uh, then I then I couldn't believe it I called him the, the same night I said what the fuck was that man it's like <laughs> this should be an Ill if he ever fights man it, this should be illegal he can kill someone with this man it's insane man well what's fucked up is it almost feels like a lie because it was so long ago it was a different life like I stopped fighting I'm 50 years old I stopped fighting when I was 21 so I haven't fought in forever. So it's just I've, I keep doing it and training, but I haven't done it so long. So when I tell someone that I can do it, I'm like, did you, is, that, is that true? I'm did, like saying, is it true? Did, how many people did you did you ever light up someone with that particular? There's a video of me when I was 19 from a ah. Taekwondo tournament making a guy fly through the air. Yeah. Are you it's serious? It's on YouTube. Yeah, Jamie. Oh, Jamie my God. Is he okay here. now? Is he alive? I don't know. Here it is right here. Are you kidding me, man? Yeah, that's a f fucking scratchy VHS video from 1986. Bro, you, 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 you realize you didn't even cut him. Like, you know, we talk about precision. Like, there was like, like it, it, your technique is freaking, but it's so powerful. Like, you cut him where? On the shoulder? On the No, no, I caught him on the body. It wasn't in the shoulder. You can see it again. But yeah, that. It's, it's. Okay, okay, okay. It's just his arm is underneath his arm. Like, oh, as it actually my lands. God. But I saw but to put that forward. guy away is because it's incredibly, incredibly powerful. Like a guy would do the same thing, hit him in the same spot, it would probably not get put away like that. Oh, okay, okay. See, as you see, Ooh. like the, the impact, it goes right into his body, and then I extend. And then when I extended, he was, I was kind of like. Oh, yeah, okay. See, no, no, yeah. that, was, that was perfect. And he just sailed through the air. <laughs> 
It's just, it's a crazy, It's it's got so much power. Yeah, man. It's just a crazy technique. And I was raised um, in a Taekwondo school that came from the old school Taekwondo before tournaments. See, General Che, Che Hyung Yi, he trained, he was the inventor of Taekwondo, the founder of Taekwondo, and he trained a small handful of, of, of elite instructors. And one of them was Jae Hun Kim, who was my instructor. So my Taekwondo background was old school Taekwondo okay. before Olympic, it was even a even consideration. And so everyone trained for power. It was a different thing. Breaking, yeah. Yeah, it was just, it was, you had to be able to defend yourself in the street. My instructor's idea was if you couldn't hurt someone with a kick, like why even practice it? Yeah. And these Taekwondo guys in tournaments, they were tapping each other. They were just moving Point, really yeah. fast, trying to score points. And he hated that shit. He hated that shit. And he felt like, you had to load up more. There had to be more power into those techniques. And it wasn't quite as fast as like the, the, the really quick style, Olympic point style Taekwondo. Yeah. But that Olympic point style wouldn't hurt anybody. You couldn't keep them off of you. But, but the, the thing is hard for me, like I try to practice your ways but I have a. I don't know if it's my hips or the no, way. No, no, it's just it's just reps. It's just repetition. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll go over here after we're done. We're, man, we're it's done anyway now. Freaking I'll, hard, we'll man. We have this gym here. I'll I'll, I'll, sh I'll just give you a refresher. Yeah. But a, a lot of it comes from the front leg sidekick. No, nobody I know. You know, I go back. I went back to karate training because I I've done Muay Thai, but I was coming from karate background. I've, we've done it straight, not yeah. like you straight. Then in Muay Thai, then I haven't done it for a kick like back kick for a long time because I don't really do that much in Muay Thai. Now I went back to karate, my last fight, and when I start to to redo it, I've been taught again with the knee. The knee down. Yeah, yeah. but I, I like your I like the way you do it, man. It's the knee crazy. has to be higher. Yeah, the knee has to be higher to get the full power into it. I just don't have the same efficiency with it. Yeah, it's crazy. but it, it can be done. You can learn that efficiency. Shit. A hundred percent. It's freaking nuts, man. Yeah, it, but it comes from learning first the right way to do the front leg side kick. See, the front leg side kick, you develop that, boom, that, that knee comes up, and then, boom, it's all in thrusting that hip and popping it forward. And then once you develop the speed from doing that, then you do it with the turn. Yeah. Then it's turn, boom. It's the same thing. It's that twist of the, the hip and the extension of the leg, but then it's also the turn first. So the turn first, boom, and then the extension of the leg. That's where all that power comes from. Shit. But it's all in a straight line. Okay. And then the 360, when the right leg is forward and you step forward and then throw yeah, that, that kick, was that's, that's the, like getting hit by yeah, a train. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, the, that's, that's the one crazy. that I that's the strongest I ever seen. Is yeah, that's that shit's crazy. It's so, you're running at someone. And you're, you're not even in your prime now. No, it's, I'm it's, 50. Shit. Yeah, but when I was 19, I could do it like a laser beam. That's so that, fast. Yeah. You know, like in that video. I mean, I was just that's all I did though. I mean, but from the time I was 15 to the time I was 21. I didn't do shit. I barely did any homework. I didn't pay attention in school at all. All I did was fight. That's all I did was Back do Taekwondo. That's all I did. I just wanted to be in the Olympics. I wanted to be a Taekwondo champion. Wow. Yeah, that's all I wanted wow. to do. But then the problem was I started sparring with kickboxers and getting fucked up. And I realized that Taekwondo has no hands. Like the hand techniques were useless. And when I would be in a boxing ring and I would be sparring with someone, they'd just get me in a corner and start fucking me up. And I was like, oh, I don't know how to do this. Like, I need to learn how to box. And so I realized Taekwondo in a lot of situations is not effective. It's not useful. Yeah. Like, I needed to learn how to box first. Yeah. And so then I started training that. And then I started getting... Try, training with Muay Thai guys, getting leg kicked. I'm like, ah, fuck. Uh -huh. Now this Because we were doing like above the waist kickboxing. Yeah. And then I saw... Rick Rufus, when he fought that uh, uh, Thai fighter, you know, there's a like a really important fight when Rick fought this guy and the guy just chopped his fucking legs yeah. out from under him. Like, 